Hi, this is Mart, and you are watching Mart's Movies Review. Today I'm going to talk about the movie The King of Staten Island, directed by a man who, who has given us a lot of comedies and dramedies, Judd Apatow. The movie stars comedian and comedy actor Pete Davidson as Scott Carlin, Marissa Tomei as his mother, Margie Carlin, Bill Burr as Ray and Steve Buscemi as Papa. We see the opening scene in the film, we see Scott, played by Pete Davidson, just uh, driving along, kind of out of it on the road, and he's just closing his eyes, and he, I, you, you wonder about him, and he just, uh, he swerves his car and gets back on track again. And then he would meet his family, his, his mother and his sister, and it's the, his sister's having a graduation and uh, he's making jokes. There's jokes being made in the house, the sister, not, about him not cracking on to certain girls at, at the graduation. And he's talking about making jokes about, oh God, I'm, oh, I mean, oh, oh, I'll be careful or I'll be me too. He's talking then, he has friends he's hanging around with in their place. And one of the guys seems got this, met this girl online and they, they're showing the picture and they're saying the lad they're just laughing, he's been catfished. And there's funny kind of FaceTime scenes with, with his mother and the, the mother works in the emergency room. <laughs> there's funny FaceTime with, with the brother and sister about what he's wearing to the, the graduation, the grad. They're going to the friend's house, going to her friend's house, and she, he just wants to wear a T-shirt and shorts or something. And, uh, you know, they're having kind of little, little one-to-ones, the sister and brother, and she wants to head off to college for four years. And she's telling him, like, she's younger than him, but she kind of is more mature than him. And she's saying to him, time flies. And he says, yeah, I know, that's why I smoke weed. You know, he just spends a lot of his time watching cartoons and playing computer games. He's watching SpongeBob SquarePants. And he's kind of out of it, like I said, it's almost over. Like when his sister is just leaving, and it's almost over, you know. So he's kind of out of his mind and ways. And he's the, the mom, yes, yeah, in the emergency room, and she's sitting down with him then. At, they're at the kitchen sink talking then about after the daughter's gone and talking about the mother wants to watch Game of Thrones. Really, she just wants to sit down with someone, just, you know, be together with someone, you know, for a while. They hug anyway, and your man, uh, he's just hanging about. He's into tattoos, and he wants to open up a tattoo restaurant. They show a funny, funny scene of one of his friends. He pulls up his shirt and uh, he's done a cat tattoo. <laughs> a funny scene with a with a belly button. They're having a, a little get together out near the beach, near the water there in Staten Island, and some kid comes along and they're, Scott tries to do some tattoo work on him. Like the kids says he can, and he he just go he runs away anyway. Then but he doesn't want it after all. And Bill Burr then is the father, Ray. And he comes knocking on Marissa Tomei's door, looking to to kind of find the son, John, you know, the, the by be bells out on, you know. And he's kind of using kind of Irish humor then as well. It's kind of uh, <laughs> well, like, gonna call the cops or something like that, or get arrested, get arrested for bad behavior, and. Uh, Talking about being arrested or something, bad behaviour, and and Davidson says, what for? Yeah, for, and Ray, Bill Burr's character says, for sticking needles in a kid's arm, you fucking dope. You know? <laughs> then Scott has seen this kind of girl as well, just kind of, it's not really that serious, or if it is, like he's kind of got some kind of mental health issues, oh, ADD. And uh, she's talking about life events and going to graduations and going to stuff, and he doesn't really see anything as life events he's kind of out of, he's living in his own little world and uh, Marissa told me anyway starts she meets Bill Burr again look he came to the house again and he asks her out and uh, she's got kind of great facial expressions at the door it's kind of uh, just the, the way she's answering him and they go out anyway but um, they're sitting down to having coffee and then she's asking him like uh, her husband has passed away using the fire brigade fireman so um fire department she's asking him are you ladder or engine and he's wondering how she knows these terms he says ladder and uh, she tells him about her husband stan he was in a in a hotel fire died rescuing people in a, in a hotel fire 
we have Scott then becomes a busboy and he's kind of uh, and we see Tomei and Burr hanging out together and then going to f going fishing having ice creams going to the the baseball Times Square and yeah we see Scott then hanging around then as well going to the baseball as well with Burr you know and hanging around with some of his fire mates early on Steve Buscemi is one of them Papa listening to some cool music from the Creedence CCR and going to the Yankees game then they're having to sit together sit down together then at the table where Burr and Tommy are telling Davidson he needs to get out move out and get his own place he needs to grow up a bit the girl he seems is kind of an idealist as well she's into the kind of making things better um, especially in Staten Island and she, she wants to kind of do her civil service exams and become a city planner that's her, her her ambition to have a better life for herself and even just you know move out of Staten Island to, into Brooklyn perhaps and then come back to Staten Island and improve the city improve Staten Island meantime he's he's been given nine months to kind of find his own place and part of the nine months is before he gets his own place Scott it, the the mother and Burr want uh, Scott to look after Harold and Kelly, who are Burr's children from a split marriage. So he's hanging around with the children and bringing them to school and all. And yeah, he kind of yeah, there's funny scenes with the mother and the father of the kids talking about when they they go to the road, look both ways, look both ways. You know, the, the two of them are on about the, the mother and father. The girl then, she comes to the restaurant where Scott is a busboy and she's just doing it to kind of, um, just to make him jealous, you know, and she's talking about uh, Eiffel Towers and, you know, pandas and, <laughs> anyway, she just does it for an effect. And the show then, um, Marissa Tomei and Billy Burr and Scott visiting the daughter in college and the three of them got something in common, the stomp college play a Broadway musical that they were into and Scott is kind of left out of the talk because he doesn't really understand it it's kind of just kind of musical but kind of everyday objects garbage cans trash bin lids you know what I mean and then Burr is telling the table that he's thinking about bringing Marissa Tomei to Boston for Thanksgiving and uh, they show them a little party and a little kind of party in a way some college do or something and it's some girl says to Scott What's his major? And he says, evolutionary sociology with a splash of bio. You know what I mean? <laughs> we see Scott then. Scott's hanging around with Ray's wife and getting the kind of load down on him because he's kind of sick of him. He kind of wants them to split up. And because uh, he thinks he's interfering with his life too much. And there's some fight scenes then in a pool and uh, he starts throwing him into the pool. Ray throws Scott into the pool and uh, they're just like two kids and Marissa Tomei comes back and they're like two little kids and she's like the mummy and she's just got to get rid of the two of them but then what you call it he has nowhere to live anyway he just feels like stranded so he goes to the fire station he starts grudgingly Ray kind of lets him stay there and hang around with the lads and he kind of gets out with the lads and does kind of odd jobs at the place cleaning up the place um, just spraying down the fire engine as well there's a scene then like I just thought there were, that he was staying at Ray's house the two of them were just, like he, sleeping and he's telling Ray I can't sleep you know what I mean and I thought he was at Ray's house it looks like he's at Ray's house but he's actually in the fire station the lights go on then the alarm goes off and they're into action and they're still talking about tattoos and they show him cleaning up a lot and folding the flag washing fire trucks and he's hearing funny little stories by one of the officers talking about big bed bugs bed bug stories and it did. there's a few pranks done on them as well, buckets of water, and they use the fire the fire hose on them, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, he goes out in the fire truck anyway. He asks Bill Burr, can he go out in the fire truck with him? And he goes out in the fire truck with him, and, well, they see it in real life, building on fire and windows being blown out, fire and everything, you know? And Bashemi starts telling stories about his real father. He's a character, kind of a, a hilarious kind of guy, but he's kind of, crazy and off his head as well and there's just a uh, great little scene anyway, in the pub anyway they're singing songs uh, you know, lyrics of a song uh, come 
come and try a little nothing lasts forever the lads are going out on a on a call and scott is just hanging around the front of the station a man comes up to him I wasn't sure what's wrong with him first and then he looks he's stabbed or or he's been shot and he is brought to hospital anyway he's in the emergency room the the mother his mother is there as well and uh he's left the station and scott uh ray I think Ray is, is helping as well. Ray kind of helps as well, bring them on, and they, they all get bloodied anyway. They take the shirts off, and what's been happening throughout their time at the station is that Ray's kind of said, if you want to do tattoos, he's seen a picture of his son doing some kind of animation, some kind of kind of cartoon character, and he sees that your man's improving at, at, this, at art and, and tattooing. And he's thinking then, like, yeah, we'll give him a shot, let him tattoo the back of my back, so I won't see it anyway. And uh, they'd have to take off their shirts anyway, and, and Marissa Tomei notices Ray's tattoos and tells him to turn around, so he sees these amazing tattoos. There's, there's really a touching moment, kind of um, something that Marissa Tomei sees at the top of his body, at the top of the back of his body, I won't spoil it. You know, it's it's very touching. Right? It's emotionally effective. Essentially, the movie, like a lot of movies, are kind of like you would see this movie is probably as a father son story. It's really kind of father son story and a mother son story. You know, of basically a kind of a lost kid who's been helped by the ghost of his father. You know, and and his mother and his sister to help him kind of get out of his kind of um his low self esteem, low self confidence. I think he has to go do some exam. I think he's probably looking to get into the fire service himself. They don't really tell that towards the end of the movie, but he's going in a way to the Staten Island. I think he said he's going over to do some exam himself, and he's not tell he meets the girl at the Staten Staten Island ferry terminal, and he's probably doing exams himself, but he's not telling her or the audience for the fire service. So she's got to do a three and a half hour exam and. And he's kind of relaying his feelings onto her and she's going away and she's, she's telling him to be cultural and do something cultural while she's waiting for him but he's probably off going as far as service exams as well so it looks like the two of them will, will be set up doing he'll be, be a fireman and he'll she'll be he'll be a firefighter and she'll be a, a civil servant you know they'll probably stay in Brooklyn and probably come back to Staten Island then Prove things for the community. I've been hearing about this film for a while, The King of Staten Island, Judd Apatow film. It's kind of a departure for Apatow because he does these kind of comedies, or kind of gross out comedies, dramedies. For him, this is kind of comedy drama, what they call a dramedy. And I think it's very well directed. I mean, Pete Davidson is kind of um, new to us over this side of the world. I mean, he's become very famous now for in America for different reasons. But for for him to kind of to be in the film, be the main guy, have a friend around him like Bill Burr helps a lot. Bill Burr, of course, had done some films on TV for years. He was in Breaking Bad. Uh, Marissa Tomei is his mother. You know, Bish, Steve Buscemi as well as a character actor in 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 the show as a character as well. You know, the director has created a, a great cast to support. Davidson as he's making the film. So I recommend seeing The King of Staten Island. It's it's new to Netflix. Um, I, I wanted to see it in the cinema when it was released, you know, and I got to see it now on, on Netflix, and I, I think it's well worth seeing. So that's my review for this week on March Movies' review of The King of Staten Island. You can like this review and click the red button to subscribe to Lear Media. You can watch more videos on Lear Media up on our YouTube channel, Lear Media. You can watch our social media on Facebook, Twitter.